Welcome back. In just moments, we'll take you out to Austin Schindler and our News 9 Game of the Week. But first, we've got some Rhinelander Mosinee highlights. Homecoming night for Mosinee on its way here shortly. Here we go. Lots of reasons to dance tonight. A packed crowd and the cheer team getting the squad done. But we'll start in the third quarter. Wyatt Harris will get the handoff, and he must have greased up the jersey heading into this one. He's marching all the way into Hodag territory. A few plays later, Harris will get it again, and he pounds ahead for a few more yards, keeps on trucking. They get down to the 15-yard line. Now Stoffel rolls out and finds a familiar target. Keegan Jershley puts on the juke, whoop, and finds a TD. Mosinee wins big, 52-8. Now to the cherry on top of some great action tonight, our game of the week. Wausau West hosting Stevens Point. News 9's Austin Schindler joins us now from Tom Field with who sits solely atop the WVC. Austin. Well, Keegan, it was Spash that came out on top today, but this was not a pretty game by any means. Between miscues, penalties, fumbles and interceptions, it would have taken the entire newscast to show. Also, five first-half turnovers for Wausau West, so we're going to start early in the third quarter with Spash holding a 7-0 lead. Can Wausau keep the ball out of Spash's hands? Mason Dilligan gets the hand up, but he ends up losing the ball too. Oh, a disaster strikes again, and Spash, they would take advantage. Shadana takes the snap. He's going to dump it off to Ethan Ellinger. He's going to break a couple tackles, find an opening, and house call. 14-0 Spash, courtesy of Ellinger. So the Warriors desperately need to get something going, and they reply. Jason Durr, the handoff, and he walks in. West finally on the board. So can they make one more stop? Smola on fourth and three, gun in the pile, and slithers out. Smola smothering the West defense, 21-7. So final desperation attempt for West. The double reverse throw, and it's going to find the hands of Jackson Spees. Four picks on the day for the young fella, and Spash takes this one 27-7. Since week two, really, our mantra has been to pull the rope and, and be physical, like I talk about every week. And uh, pull the rope to us, just competing. Just competing every single game and, and uh, every single day I practice. And um, we have a hell of a defense. We have a hell of an offense. And, and just players that make, make me look good, that make the defense coach look good they're out there making plays so so we love them and, and i'm just so proud for these guys seven turnovers on the game for wausau west that's not going to get the job done now this puts spash in sole possession of the wvc and coach told us after the game yeah it was ugly but the great teams can gut out those w's so now three weeks left for spash and that's going to start at gurky field next week hosting wausau east keegan we'll send it back to you Thank you very much, Austin. We got to take one last break, but here's a look at a few more area scores to the sound of the Edgar Marching Band. <laughs> 